For many years now, British railways have looked forward to a time of widespread modernization. And even within the economic limitations of the past, a few opportunities have been found to show what could be done. For example, linking Lancashire's industry with Yorkshire's coal ran the Manchester-Sheffield line. Vital, but outdated. Every day, the Pennine Range, the backbone of England, had to be crossed by perhaps 160 trains, many of them needing two engines at each end to overcome the severe gradient. the hundred-year-old Woodhead Tunnel, a bottleneck constantly in need of repair. By 1949, renewal of the tunnel could no longer be delayed, and a general scheme had been prepared to link this work with the complete modernization of the line and the switch from steam to electricity. A scheme which for us in 1955 provides a single small demonstration of what modernization can achieve and has achieved. The old twin tunnels were beyond repair and alongside them a new one was driven through the Pennine Rock. The first example in this century of a new British mountain tunnel. Tunneling hundreds of feet underground is still a matter for muscles as well as machines. And a whole community of men labored summer and winter out here in the lonely moorland. In four years, their work was done. And then in 1954, the Minister of Transport opened the new Woodhead Tunnel to provide between the east and west of industrial England a streamlined link, an electric link. But in the meantime, electrification had been finished and the changeover from the faithful old steam-belching giants to the new quiet monsters of the 20th century was complete. Modernization and re-equipment brought many benefits. New comfort for passengers and train crews. Better methods of traffic handling, colour-like signalling, cleaner stations and line sides. Manchester Sheffield is the first main line to be converted to electric operation for all classes of traffic. The estimate is that 100,000 tonnes of coal per annum will be saved. And with higher speeds and greater traffic densities, this piece of completed modernization could provide a signpost to the future of British railways.